నమస్కారం అడియేన్ రామానుజదాసనం రామానుజదయా పాత్రం జ్ఞాన వైరాగ్య భూషణం శ్రీమద్ వెంకటనాథార్యాం వందే వేదాంత దేశికం ఇన్ దిస్ వీడియో విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ద భూ వైకుంఠం దట్ ఇస్ మేలుకోటే ఆల్సో నోన్ యాజ్ తిరునారాయణపుర బిఫోర్ దాట్ విల్ స్టార్ట్ దిస్ సెషన్ విత్ సాంగ్ మనం అరిందే నడకుం యదుగిరియే తిరుమహల్ అరుల్ వాళే అవనై నొడియా అవనై నొడియాయ్ మాదుగిరి చాయ్షల్ అవన్కే పానేదుగిరి నాయకి అరుడుడనంద్రో తిరణారణన్నమ్మై ఆదరి పాయదుగిరి నాయకి అరుడుడనంద్రో మేలుకోటే ఆర్ తిరునారాయణపుర ఇస్ ద లొకేషన్ ఆఫ్ చెల్వ నారాయణ స్వామి టెంపుల్ విత్ ద కలెక్షన్ ఆఫ్ క్రౌన్స్ అండ్ జివల్స్ విచ్ ఆర్ బ్రాట్ టు ద టెంపుల్ ఫర్ ద యాన్యువల్ సెలబ్రేషన్ అండ్ ఆన్ ద టాప్ ఆఫ్ ద హిల్ ఇస్ ద టెంపుల్ ఆఫ్ యోగా నరసింహర్ అండ్ మెనీ మోర్ శ్రైన్స్ అండ్ పాండ్స్ ఆర్ లొకేటెడ్ ఇన్ ద టౌన్ మేలుకోటే is a home to the academy of sanskrit research which has collected thousands of vedic and sanskrit manuscripts early in the 12th century the famous shri vaishnava saint shri ramanuja acharya who hailed from tamil nadu stayed in melukote for about uh, 12 years and it has thus become a prominent center for the shri vaishnava sect and it's a mal municipal town and holy center for the same name situated at a distance of about 36 kilometers northwest of mandya district and 51 kilometers uh, to the north of mysore and according to the mythological account the place was known as narayana narayana narayanadri vedadri yadavadri yatishaila and tirunarayanapura the name of the place is derived from the temple of narayana swami which is built on the hill lock surrounded by a fort and it is built on a granite rocky hill range named yadugiri so which is about uh, 3489 feet high above the sea level when it comes to history early in the 12th century the great sri vaishnava saint ramanuja took up his residence and lived in this location for about uh, 12 years it thus became a prominent center who obtained Uh, uh, like uh, it, it has become a prominent center of the Shri Vaishnava sect of Brahmins who obtained from Hoysala King Vishnu Vardhana. So who had become a follower of uh, Ramanuja Acharya, an assignment of the fertile tracts of lane, land in the neighborhood, especially of the Ashtagramas on the either banks of Kaveri. So people from Melukote uh, do not celebrate Deepavali till date since November 10th, 1790. that is naraka chaturdasi it was the date when tipu sultan slaughtered in many cruel ways more than 800 mandyam mandyam ayangars of this town so people of melukote thus do not celebrate deepavali but mourn on the festival of lights every year the principal temple is a square building of large dimensions but very plain dedicated to lord chelva narayana swami or thiru narayana the utsava murti which is a metallic image represents the deity who is called chelva pillai chelva raya and chelva narayana swami whose original name appears to have been ramapriya that is rama's favorite and it is believed that its this utsava murti belonged to and was worshiped by lord brahma and the kings of surya vamsha dynasty for generations so later the same deity was given to a king of chandravamsham the dynasty of lord krishna 
and was worshipped by Lord Krishna and many generations. So, Chalva Narayana is so unique that he was worshipped by both Rama and Krishna. So, according to the legend, this metallic image was lost and was recovered by Sri Ramanadacharya. The annual report of the Mysore Archaeological Department states on the strength of the epigraphic evidence that the presiding deity of this temple was already a well-known object of worship before Sri Ramanadacharya worshipped at the stream. So, in the December 1098 and even before he came to the Mysore region. So, before uh, Ramanadacharya worshipped the shrine, that like before he came to the Mysore region itself, that uh, idol was already there in Melikoti. So, the temple is richly endowed have been under the special patronage of Mysore Rajas too, and it has more valuable collections of jewel into the custody. As early 1614, the king Raja Vadayar, who first acquired Sri Lanka Patana and adopted the Sri Vaishnava faith, handed over to the temple to the Brahmins at Melukote. One of the pillars of Navaranga of the Narayana Swami is a bas relief of about 1.5 feet high of Raja Vadayar, standing with folded hands with the name inscribed on the base. He was said to a great devotee of the presiding deity and regular visitor to the temple. A gold crown set with precious jewels was presented by him to the temple. The crown is also known as Rajamudi after his name. So, from the inscriptions on some of the gold jewels and on gold and silver vessels in the temple, it is learned that, that they were presented from Krishna Raja Vadayar and his queens. So, the Krishna Raja Vadayar III or three also represented a crown set of precious jewels. So, it is, all, it is known after him the Krishna Raja Mudi, Vair Mudi or Vajra Mukuta. Another crown of great value seems to be older than Raja Mudi and Krishna Raja Mudi. So, all these three crowns are kept in the safe custody of the government of Mandya treasury and brought to the temple on a specific annual occasion known as Vair Mudi. So, in 1785, Tipu Sultan gave some elephants to the temple. A number of inscriptions and records of the place speak of the land grants and gifts to the shrine. So, perhaps the fort on this hill was built during Hoysala period. Uh, the renovated temple has a beautiful gopram also. So, there are other shrines of uh, Ramanuja images and Alvars and Edugiri Amma in the temple. So, at the top of the hill is the impressive temple of Yoga Narsimhar. This is the uh, this is Yoga Narsimhar. And Krishna Raja Vadiyar presented a gold crown to the upper shrine. And this is a big, there is a big pond here. So, that is known as Kalyani. So, Melukota has been a center of learning. It has been contributed many literature, literary figures such as Thiru Malaraya, Chikupadya, Alasingachar and Kuti Narsimacha. So, Sri Vedanta Bodhini Sanskrit College is one of the oldest institutions established in 1854 here and an old library found in 1935 contains a large number of Sanskrita, Kannada, Tamil and Telugu books and manuscripts. So, in 1976, the opening in 1978 a research institute, the Sanskrita Academy was established which incorporated in the library. Etiraja Mata, Ahobala Mata, Parakala Mata of Sri Vaishnava sects are located here. So, Melukote has been known for the quality handlooms, especially for weaving dhoti, saris, and etc. An artisan's training center, a dairy unit, and residential school are established in the place. So, Vairamuni Brahmotsava is an annual spiritual event uh, and a festival revered throughout South India. So, it is a very famous uh, occasion. So, Vairamudi is nothing but a diamond crown was stolen from Sriman Narayana when he was asleep at his abode in the Kshira Sagara by Virochana. So, Virochana was the king of demons and the sons of Bhakta Prahalada. So, Garuda was asked by a lot of devotees to bring back the crown. So, Garuda went after Virochana to, uh, to nether world, fought with him, demon, fought with the demon king and flew back with him. So, this is the history. So, preparations for Brahmotsava starts several weeks before the festival. And the actual celebration takes over the course of 13 days. So, Garudotsava is celebrated a day before the Brahmotsava at Melukote. 
the district administration of mandya makes arrangement for bringing the vairamudi crown from the mysore treasury to the temple and it is believed that crown must not be exposed to daylight so when not in the procession uh, the priests uh, keep the crown hidden from view in a sacred casket so while mairmudi utsava is on the most important festival for shri vaishnavas other includes the garudotsavam at kanchipuram kathorotsava at shri rangam and brahmotsavam at tirupati in andhra pradesh so this is all about uh, Chironarayana Pudam Ilukote. So, in the next video, uh, we will discuss about the 10th Divya Desha. So, until then, stay tuned. Namaskaram. Shreemate Ramanujaya Namaha.